Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to the show. Dylan here. Well, here are 10 things that I wish I knew before I signed up to drive for Uber and for Lyft. So if you're a new driver, this is a perfect video for you. And if you, you know, you're a veteran driver, hey, maybe you can join in and see if these are some things that you wish you knew before you signed up to drive for Uber. So before we do jump in, if you're interested in making money, there is an incredible new opportunity to do so right here on YouTube by creating a faceless YouTube channel. This is one of my channels over the past 365 days. I brought in over 10,000 bucks a month. And actually in some months, bringing in over 30,000, 20,000 bucks, um, 10,000 bucks. So if you wanna learn how to create a faceless YouTube channel, I'll have a link below. And right now I've created, I made it so it's a 30 day free trial, which a lot of people are trying it out, trying it up, setting up their channel and you know, I'm gonna help guide you. And there's a tutorial on how to set up and make a monetizable faceless YouTube channel link below. And you know, it's how I was able to buy this house. It's how I was able to get out of driving Uber and Lyft, get out of paycheck to paycheck, day to day. I wasn't even do, doing paycheck to paycheck. I was worse, I was in credit card debt and I was living day by day, all right? So click the link below, start your 30 day free trial. There's some other helpful links down there too for other side hustles, but let's get started. So this is actually an article that just came out, uh, or sorry, that I just found saying, I'm a driver for Uber and Lyft here, 10 things I wish I knew before starting the job. So I'm reacting to it and I'm gonna add in my thoughts and any things I believe he is missing out on. So. Um, his name is Clark Bauman. He's been driving Uber and Lyft for one year to make extra money. All right, so let's jump right in. He says, to make the most money possible, you need to avoid traffic. Right off the bat, avoid traffic? That's how you make the most money doing Uber and Lyft? Well, when do you think most people are wanting rides. It's during traffic. Well, what happens when you're going, doing a, giving rides at Coachella, at huge festivals, there's gonna be traffic, but that's actually where you make the most money. So right off the bat, I don't even agree with that one. Um, he says, in my area, a driver makes around 12 cents per minute, which is the equivalent to 720 an hour. In some markets, a driver makes even less. So he's basically saying, that you make more money the farther you go, not the longer you drive. Interesting. He says, don't drive around looking for a ride, let the ride come to you. That one I do agree with. Unless you're in the middle of nowhere, then obviously you do need to drive and look for a ride. But if you're in a city, don't drive around, just park and wait for the ride to come. Um, you're just wasting gas and you could be actually driving away from passengers. That's the funniest part. Uh, he says, the, no the closest driver to a passenger usually gets the next ride. Position yourself accordingly. Driving for Uber and Lyft is a lot like a game. The goal is to earn as much money as possible per hour. Yeah, I always found it kind of crazy that they do have the app set up kind of like a game where, you know, do this for any many rides, you'll get a bonus. Oh, drive to this area, there's a surge over here. Drive to that area, stay in this zone for, you know, an extra $3 bonus. And then it's like, I don't know, it's just, it, it, they did really make it like a video game. Uh, the next one, contrary to popular belief, the airport queue is generally not worth waiting in. You know, funnily enough, I've never waited in the airport queue. Yeah, I, I don't, I just, for whatever reason, I was like, I can not imagine myself waiting in the airport queue. But a lot of times, I would just get a ride to the airport and then get a ride leaving. So I was like, did I just skip the queue? I was like, I don't really know. But yeah, let me know if you guys have ever waited in the airport queue. He says, you need to take breaks often for your health and for your sanity. Yeah, I would say both for your mental health and physical health. You wanna make sure you're getting out, taking a walk, take, doing some push-ups, doing some jumping jacks, get your heart rate up. You know, you don't wanna just be sitting for 10 hours straight or even like three hours straight. Every other hour at least, or every hour, you know, maybe two hours tops, get out, take a walk, get some water, get some food, get a snack, and keep driving. He goes, the secret to a high rating and more tips is having a clean car, offering a good phone charger, and driving safe. Yep, I agree. Having a good, having a phone charger is, um, you know, a lot of people who are taking Ubers and Lyfts, they don't have their car to be, like, when I get in my car, I always plug my phone right in. So if you can 
uh, have an extra phone charger, offer that to your passengers. We have links below to um, phone chargers too, ones that have multiple outlets. Um, then you can, you know, get better tips there. Having a clean car, yeah, that's a no-brainer. Please do not keep your car filthy dirty. He says you don't have to lose money driving home at the end of the shift. You can get paid for it. He's talking about destination filters. Yeah, I mean, to be fair though, like if you if you're tired and you want to go to sleep, like don't sit around waiting for an hour for a destination filter. It's not worth it. Realistically, you're probably not gonna get one. Uber pool and Lyft shared rides don't pay as much as you think and are hardly worth it for the driver. Yeah, I kind of disagree with this. I think when you're doing shared rides, you can hit multiple bonuses because you can stack up and hit the ride bonus so you can get, you know, that ride bonus easier. So yeah, you're not gonna make as much per ride, but you're gonna get more like back to back to back to back trips rather than like one here, one there, so. He says, at first I thought I would dri like driving for Lyft more, but it turns out I enjoy driving for Uber more. Yeah, there's no, I mean, there's no rhyme or reason for that. Both apps are pretty much the same at this point. If you really think Uber's better than Lyft, you're probably biased because you had one bad ride on, and it just happened to be on one of the apps, so now you subconsciously like the other app more. Um, maybe one is more busier in your area, I don't know. They're basically the same at this point though. Driving around strangers and meeting new people is, is surprisingly very fun and rewarding. Yeah, I agree with that. That's the last one. Um, honestly, he didn't really give that many good tips, in my opinion. These are just random things. But for me, I would I would be more macro, like 10 things I wish I knew, guys. I'm just gonna say it. Like, I wish I knew that this job is, would be more temporary than I thought it was. I thought I was gonna drive it for, for a while, but Quickly I realized, oh crap, I need to get out of the Uber and Lyft game because it's, you know, the, you're paying, it's so expensive. I wish, you know what I wish I knew? Is how expensive it is to drive a car, <laughs> Uber and Lyft. I already knew it's expensive to operate a vehicle. I didn't realize that when you're driving Uber and Lyft, you're literally driving like 10 times the amount that you would normally drive if you were just driving a normal job or a normal, because you're literally, your job is driving. So it's like, you're putting on 200, 300 miles a day on your car. It gets freaking expensive. Oh yeah, the recommended oil change is every 3,000 miles. If you're driving 200, 300 miles a day, you're getting an oil change every two weeks. It's like, stuff starts to break down in your car. You need to get new tires, this and that, etc. And then you're you're putting on more miles. Your car, your car, the value of your car is dropping like every day. So. That's kind of what I wish I knew is that like, oh crap, this is not a good long-term, um, you know, job. If you're looking for a new job or a new side hustle, check out our links below. We have three programs right now that you can join and they all have free 30 day free trials. It's one of the best opportunities right now because you can actually try out three different earning opportunities. See if you like them. Number one is the Shopify dropshipping program. This is where you set up a website and you sell products like um, like this phone holder, like, or something for your car, or like you could even sell like coffee mugs. And you set up a website and it's drop shipping, so you don't have to buy any inventory. As only when you get a sale, then you have to sh buy the product. But like, let's say you sell this coffee mug for 40 bucks, but you're, or sorry, let's say you sell this coffee mug for 40 bucks, but then the, the supplier only charges you five, the customer pays for shipping. You just take the profit. You don't have to buy a hundred, you know, a thousand units or whatever. So that's Shopify dropshipping. We have a link below to join our program there. Faceless YouTube channel, I already talked about it. It's one of the most incredible ways to make long-term passive income. Number three is TikTok shop program. There, there's a incredible way to make money on TikTok shop. It's a way that I'm doing it right now. So if you click the link below, you can check out all three of those, and those are three really, in my opinion, the best side hustles in to, I only wanted to make three because I don't want to make too many. There's three programs. These are the three best um, opportunities right now, given that people are on their phones, and they're all making money on your phone or on your computer. So it's like, 
you can do it at home. You don't need to drive and work. You can do it in between rides or after work or before work or whenever you have time. For me, I started doing YouTube <clears throat> while I was going to college full time and while I had a full time job. So I even just did it at night just for a couple hours each night, but it worked for me. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care. God bless. We'll talk soon.